The FDA recently approved what could be a groundbreaking treatment for ALS. And today, a man from Hood River living with the disease became the first person in the country to receive the new drug. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar was there for the whole procedure. She joins us live now from Northeast Portland with his story. Yes, Terry Smith is officially the first person to receive this injection, and I spoke to him before and after the procedure. He was in great spirits the whole time. He was very calm, and of course, he was a little scared because this medicine is so brand new, but he told me that this is just a positive step in the right direction. Terry was diagnosed with ALS in November 2021. It's just hard to maneuver around. My walking has decreased quite a bit. You see people just walking now and stuff. And you kind of envy that. Terry is part of the 10% of those with ALS with a specific genetic component. And he's part of the 2% that have a specific gene mutation, making him qualified to receive the very first injection of Calsadi, a medicine that could slow down the progression of ALS. It's more positive to me than a negative. You know, I just, I'm just ready to do this and, and make the most of it. And you will feel a little a little sting with this, okay? First, they must take out the spinal fluid to prevent any headaches later on. All right, Terry, it's happening. Then, inject the medicine. As you inject it into the spinal um, column, and then the SOD1 protein, it stops the production of that, um, so that it decreases the amount of that in the spinal fluid. Hey. Doing good, doing good. Oh, it's amazing. It's just, uh, I feel so honored, really, you know? I know there's been a lot of test trials that have gone on to get to this point. And Providence hopes to see a positive change in his next checkup. If we were to look at the spinal fluid itself, we would see that the SOD1 protein and the neurofilament concentration were both lower. Though there is no cure for ALS, this is a step in the right direction. And I really have faith in, in the science of it at all. I'm willing to take that chance to see what happens. And this medicine will buy him more time with his family. I have an RV that I've been traveling around in and stuff, because I'm not going to allow a ALS to stop my life. What are some of your summer plans for next year, your bucket lists? Um, hopefully go up to Alaska would be a great, a great bucket list, I think. Providence tells me that they expect more people to receive this injection later this year. Reporting in Northeast Portland, Paulina Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.